We've had a couple of days of rain, so unfortunately we've had uh, a day and a half without any progress. But they're back on the job now, after a really bad storm last night, but it's really, really hot today, so everything's drying out quickly. And they're cracking on with doing the cross beams. Our neighbour has just turned up with a mother cow and a baby that's probably only a few days old. They don't speak English, I don't speak Thai, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but the baby looks very, very skinny, like it's not been able to feed properly. And the mother cow is in the back of this in the back of this truck here, not looking very well. I'm not entirely sure if she might be ready to give birth to another one. Sleep, 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 sleep. Ah, it's giving an indication that they're not, that she's not going to survive, that they're going to put her down. I don't know. Oh dear. This is the reality of rural life in Thailand. Yeah, she's not well. She's. She's not good, she's not standing up or anything, so... Sun's Ray's not around, so can't get her involved or ask her what's going on, but... It seems to me, or sounds to me like maybe she's not survived the birth very well.
The babies are a very nice cute little thing. We have some beautiful cloud formations in the distance today. Unfortunately that means stormy weather so I hope that it stays away from here for a while. Well they've slaughtered the mother now and then they're going to cut her up for meat I guess. I'm not going to film this very closely though. Not really my cup of tea. Unfortunately one of the issues we're having at the moment is insufficient electricity supply. We're building relatively remotely. We're quite lucky because we've managed to take a supply from St Therese Farm. I've mentioned this before I think, this is the wire crossing the road here. It goes to a large stick to keep it up in the air and winds its way down to the farm shed which is sort of there. Uh, that's quite a distance and unfortunately it's just not providing the current that they need to run both of their welding machines. So this is slowing the process up somewhat. I am very much letting them get on with it now. Uh, we've discussed how high the roof has to be. Two metres that is. So they set the uprights at two metres. They've used the steel that's sticking out of the concrete posts to weld to the uprights to give them extra strength so that's good it's a very good use for them uh, they they know what they're doing here in terms of setting it out and welding things together and making it strong and straight and square I don't have any expertise over this I just look at it and try and use my common sense really. I've looked online at um, the best sort of way to construct a roof, an A-frame roof in terms of the number of uprights and the, the shape of the supports within the roof and I've shown them that and they seem quite happy. I have to say that a couple of days ago I was feeling quite nervous about this build simply because we aren't using an architect, we're not using an engineer, we're just using local builders in the village and um, supplementing their knowledge and skill with my supposed knowledge and 
um, my demands, if you like, based on research. And I was just thinking to myself, I just hope this works because although this is a modest house by a lot of standards of foreigners building in Thailand, uh, now it's laid out, it does seem to be quite large and I just, uh, I just sort of had this almost panic attack that we just haven't done things in a timely fashion and haven't quite got things strong enough and the whole thing's going to tilt over and fall over during the first rainy season. But now that the frame's starting to go up, I'm feeling more relaxed. It's almost like, yes, it's, it's becoming real and any reservations I had are being put to bed by the fact that this team really do know what they're doing. They're not they're not discussing things and trying to work it out and it's obvious that they know exactly what they're doing and they're a very good team I've said it before but they are a very good team they work together very very well